So now that we have our data source uh, created, um, we start. We have to start thinking about the core concept of Spring Batch. Okay, so Spring Batch, like the core concept, has like a job. A job represent like the activity. Example: a job can be like import sales, import customer, import. Um, I don't know COVID. Uh, status okay so this is the concept of the job the activity okay then a job uh, have one or more step okay what is a step a step can be like okay uh, get some lines from a file and save it into a database okay and as i say like a job can have one or more steps and a step can have like a reader a processor which is optional and a writer but uh, let's now focus only on job repository which is a like a infrastructure that spring batch offers us in order to like to monitor and to 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 save the state like the metadata of our job okay example when the job uh, uh, run like the last time uh, the the the, uh, the time it took to to to, to finish all metadata related to our job gonna be persisted in the job repository so spring batch offers under the hood a job repository so this is what we are going to set up on the next video